unless I'm doing something very specialized, I never carry a tripod. They're just too heavy and bulky. You know, for the few times I might need it, it's just not worth the hassle of carrying it around. But there have been times when I've wished I had one with me. And so I came up with a solution. A mini tripod. I mean, these things are actually called tabletop tripods. But that name doesn't really capture how useful they are. You can put them on anything, even if it's not completely flat. I've put my little tripod on everything from mailboxes to recycling bins to park benches, a whole bunch of things. But, you know, the cool thing is, is that not only does it replace the need for a full-size tripod at a fraction of the weight, it does a lot of things that a full-size tripod can't do, like this. This is one of my favorite tricks with a tabletop tripod. You can brace it against walls, or columns, or street lights, or just about anything. It's very handy. And it's not, this is not that easy to do with a heavy DSLR, but with a lighter camera, it's no problem. The other advantage of working like this is that it's a lot faster than using a regular tripod, and a lot more inconspicuous. Try using a full-size tripod in a place like this, a crowded food market in Bologna, Italy, at night, where people might trip over it, and you're, you know, there's just crowds every, everywhere, and you know, it's just, uh, and you're going to draw a lot of attention to yourself. It's, uh, it's just not the same thing. And that brings me to another advantage of these tabletop tripods they can be used in places where normal tripods aren't allowed. In the famous Silos Monastery in northern Spain, uh, tripods are like no-go. But nobody said anything to me about my small camera and my tiny tripod. I braced it against walls, got my shot, and didn't bother anybody. So they can be used in a lot of places where you know tripods are just not allowed. Um, and there's still one more unique feature of a tabletop tripod. Even if you don't have a wall or a post to brace it against, you can use yourself. Using lenses with no image stabilization, I've braced the tripod against my chest and taken tack sharp images down to a quarter of a second. My favorite model is this one, the Leica tabletop tripod. It costs around 120 bucks, but this thing is gonna last you forever. It's made out of cast aluminum. Each leg is a single piece and it's held together with only one main screw. There's, so there's no moving parts. There's nothing to break. The design is decades old and it hasn't changed because it just works. I put a cheapy ball head on it and you know, with a quick release plate. And that's another advantage of the lightweight cameras. You don't need a heavy ball head to lock this, uh, to lock a heavy camera down. Uh, so it's not only lighter, but it's cheaper. Uh, now the unique feature of this particular uh, tabletop tripod is that it can be used where other tripods, other tabletop tripods can't. By using the legs in a Y configuration, you can put it on thin ledges where other tabletop tripods just, they, you know, they're not going to fit. Uh, you have to brace the legs with one hand, but it's a great, you know, one of a kind solution. And I've, I've used it many times. Uh, so there you have it. A great way to expand your photographic possibilities without breaking the bank or your back.